Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Primark sale haul. So let's get cracking. Hi, I hope you're all okay. I'm having a really nice day. I, I've done nothing, really. I watched a bit of YouTube, potted around in my flat, doing a bit of tidying, washed up, put a wash load in, all the malarkey that you do, you know, when you're on a weekend. Um, so, yeah, so I'm filming on Sunday. Um, I went out shopping yesterday and I went and got my hair cut as well and dyed again. So uh, so hopefully I don't have any roots showing at this point, you know. Um, give it a week and it'll be white again coming through. But anyway, um, yeah, I went to Primark and they had a sale on. I was so pleased. So, so pleased because I got some really good bargains. I got um, some clothes and um, a whole load of other bits and pieces. So I'm excited to look through my bags now that I'm back. Although um, I did slightly bump them around because on the way back, the bus were absolutely packed, right? And um, yeah, the bus drive were quite aggressively unpleasant as well to everybody. So I ended up putting my bags in the like a uh, bit, with, you know, that you can put your bags in at the front and then just had to stand because it was so busy on the bus. Um, and the bus driver was just shouting at everybody. So <laughs> so I was sort of slightly less worried about my bags than I was, trying my best not to be shouted at on the bus, you know. Um, uh, he didn't shout at me, it was fine. But um, yeah, I did shout at a few other people on it. So yeah, so I banged him about a bit, not really caring. I just thought, let me get home in one piece. Um, you know, not being shouted at, That's that was my aim. So... Um, it's anybody's guess what the condition is of these things in this bag now. I've also got myself a nice pot of coffee, right? So just have a quick drink. Ah. <laughs> All right, let me put my gigs on and we'll have a look at what I bought. Okay, right to go. So first bag, they had some sale Christmas bits. Um, and I did buy a couple of them as well because I just really liked them and they were bargains. So this is my first bag. Right, okay, I bought these. These are just um, the little pouches that you put in your drawers to make them smell nice. You get two in this pack and it will reduce from two pounds to a pound. So I thought that was an absolute bargain. I don't care if my clothes smell like Christmas trees, you know. I'd rather smell like Christmas trees than smell manky, so I'm happy with them. Oh, they do smell nice, very fresh. I don't think, unless you knew that that fragrance was supposed to be Christmas, it necessarily suggests it, you know. So I'm happy with them. I'm happy I've got them, you know. So that's my first thing. Um, okay, I bought this ribbon. Um, this will reduce from £1.30 to 50p. Now, I want it because I'm making these sensory bags, okay, for the kids at work and I'm putting different things in. And thank you to all those people who gave me some brilliant ideas. I have been using those ideas and buying bits. Um, so you'll see some other bits that I bought. I've got a Poundland haul to do and all sorts. But I thought this green ribbon, because it's wired and quite rough, would be really nice inside of one of my sensory bags. Have I got one here? Hang on, let me show you what I'm doing. For those of you that haven't seen. So this is an unstitched one, right? It's a, just a fleecy thing, right? So what I do is I make them into little bags with leave a little opening and then stuff different things that are, um, might have different textures and what have you inside the bag and then seal it shut. And then the kiddies can play with the bags and they've got all these different things to touch and feel. So yeah, very happy with that one. Thought for 50p it'd make a couple of bags. There's quite a lot on it, you know. So, great. So, that's another thing. It'll go into one of my sensory bags. The fabrics are all different fabrics. You know, some are thinner, some are fleecy, all sorts. But anyway, what else do I get in here? Oh, I bought myself some sunglasses. Right. I don't know why, particularly this time I went out, I decided on some sunglasses. But I tried on a couple of pairs. Some were more pricey than these, but these were only a quid. So I thought, brilliant, I'll get those for the sunny weather. I'm expecting it to be really hot again this year. 
I hate working in the super hot weather because it, oh, it's hard. It's hard keeping babies cool. So I thought, I'll get myself prepped up with a pair of shades and then it'll make me feel a bit better about the hot weather. I'll show you what they look like. Right, that <laughs> looks slightly like a bug. Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, I'm not so sure about them now I've got them home. They'll be fine for work. They were only a quid. If they drop on floor and break, it won't matter. I'm going to take them off again because I do feel slightly like um, the fly. You know, right, okay. They might not be my best purchase ever, but like I say, they'll be fine for work. So I got those. I bought myself these clothes. Right, okay. So I'm going to try these on, but I wanted to show you them anyway. These are all the clothes I got, but I bought this pyjama top. I've got more pyjama bottoms than I've got pyjama tops. I don't know how that's ended up. Um, I think I bought some on Amazon um, Outlet. So I had a pair from that and I've got another pair that I got um, at a charity shop. So I've got a couple of pairs of pyjama bottoms that don't have a pyjama top. Now, because there's only me that's going to see them, I don't care if they're Christmassy. Eh? And this will reduce from £9 to £3, this. Right, it doesn't have it on the sticker, but it were definitely only £3. So, yeah, I got myself that pyjama top. It's got long sleeves. It's got reindeers all over it and little Christmas trees. But I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothered. As long as I've got a clean pair of pyjamas to put on and I'm nice and cosy in bed, I'm not bothered. <laughs> so, yeah. Not somebody will come at my door while I'm wearing a Christmas pyjama top, you know. Um, but anyway, I'll deal with it when I get to it. Then I bought this jacket. I'm not sure about colour, but it were a fiver. So I wanted to get it, right? It's just a little puffy jacket. So I bought black one similar to this as well. I bought a couple of black jackets as well that were also £5. This were, is in a size medium. It was supposed to be £22, but it's reduced to a fiver. So, yeah. I really like it. It's got little buttons down front like pop studs and a couple of pockets. Thought it might be nice for going to work, you know, failing out else. They actually match my uniform as well because <laughs> my uniform tops are this colour. People will think I bought it on purpose. Anyway, I'm happy to have it. It were a fiver and it feels like it's going to be quite warm, but not super hot for when it gets to the, um, you know, springtime. I'll be able to sling that on. It'll be great for work, that one. Also, at work, right, my coat's over there, actually, because I've just slung it on my sofa. My coat that I wear for work is like a ready burgundy colour. I bought it at Topshop when Topshop was still a thing um, in the sale. And I can find it on the coat rail. Most people's coats for work are black. So when I'm looking for my coat, right, I can spot mine a mile off. Okay. So even if it's buried under three or four coats, I can still find mine. So this blue one would be brilliant. Don't have an hood, but aside from that, it'd be brilliant for me being able to find it on the coat rail. I didn't think about that initially, but now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, blue. I'll wear it for work. Okay, but I will try it on. Okie dokie. What else have I got in this bag? Oh, I bought some candles. Please let them have survived. I bought this one, right, which is like a pearl in a shell, although it's an enormous pearl in a shell in a purple colour. Reduced from £3 to 50p. Don't smell a vault. But I like a candle to burn, so I'm happy with it. You know, you have to trim that wick thing, though. Um, and then it'll be fine. 50p? I thought, bargain, I'm having it. I'm getting quite hot under these um, ring lights. At some point, the card here will be coming off. Okay. Bought another candle. This is it. Please let me not have smashed it. No, I haven't smashed it. Look at this. It were reduced from six pounds to a pound. Is this scented? It is. It's got like a vanilla scent to it. A quid for that. It's a double wick one. This is sort of a grey green colour. It's got little study bits on the bottom. Stop it scratching your surfaces. A quid. I should have bought more than one of them, really. I really should have bought more than one. Is that like a mark on it? I'm not bothered anyway. Right, okay. For a quid, I thought it were an out-and-out -out bargain. So fabulous. In fact, it smells it like vanilla as well is brilliant. So super pleased with that one. So that's bag one. Throw it over there. You should see the state of this when I go to tidy up after I've done haul videos and stuff. I'm like tiptoeing through things to try and find everything. Get it put away. Right, so this is another coat that cost me a fiver. 
So this is a black one, very similar quilted jacket. So this one's got a zip going up the front and has got like an elasticated cuff. The other one was just stitched around the blue one. But I thought for a fiver, what a bargain. It's also got pockets on the front, so lovely. Yeah, it's got all this quilty sort of pattern on the back. I took it to, to, to the till because I wasn't sure how much it wore. It was just on the sale, really. You know, like sometimes when you're walking around Primark, things have just been abandoned places. Oh, my tummy's rumbling as well. Right, things have just been abandoned places. So I wasn't sure if it were actually a sale jacket or what. But when I got to the till, £5. So fabulous. Got a little zip, probably wear that at home because that will disappear into any, everybody else's coats on the coat rack at work. So that's coat number two. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought these candles. These were in the sale. These were £1.50. But I just really liked them. I like it like um, a pillar. Not, It's not a pillar candle, is it? Like a candlestick. This is in the colour taupe. One pound fifty for two. You could get these in all different colours, um, but I quite like this taupe colour. I thought it'd go well with my stuff that's here. And I also bought a really pretty candlestick. So this were two pound fifty. This wasn't sale either, but I thought one of those in that will look really nice. You know, might put it behind me here. Um, but it'd be great if you were actually using them on a dinner table and things. But I just really liked. I like the geometric nature of this. Thought it went with me sort of geometric -y balls, vases that I've got here. They're not balls, are they, Kim? Um, and I just love the twisty candles. And I thought I'd be able to keep replacing those because they're new in. So fab. Gold circled stem dinner candle holder. Yeah, they had silver ones, but they were shorter. I liked this one, right? So hence why I bought it. I'm sweltered. Take my cardi off. That'll cool me down a bit. I'd open a window set. Um, the noise coming, <laughs> glasses are steaming up. The noise coming from the road would just be unbearable. Okay, what else have I? Oh, right, I bought these. Right, not for my Christmas tree, but because I'm going to make my own. I, well, I have for my Christmas tree. But I sort of thought I might make myself some of these, and I thought these would be great to use as the pattern for them. And met myself some little fabric Christmas tree decorations. These were reduced from £1.80 to 50p. They didn't have them in different colours and stuff. But I thought I could get myself some little remnants of fabric and make myself some little Christmas trees for my Christmas tree next year. So really happy with them. Um, it won't take much to unpick them and then I can use them as a, like, like I say, as a pattern for um, other fabrics and then stitch them together. They're only stitched on the top. They're not like turned inside out or anything. They're just stitched round. Thought they'd be great, you know. Find myself all little bits of remnants of fabric and make myself those. So that's a project for the future. Okay. Then I bought myself a new brolet because I've lost so many of them. I took one to work that were a black one and I can't find it for love and money. So this were four pounds. You didn't get a right lot of choice of uh, patterns and stuff. So I picked out this one. I thought this won't go missing, will it? It's a bit obvious that it's mine. So, yeah, it, I don't really like the pattern, but I figured people at work will know it's mine. So it won't go missing. Nobody will take it home by accident. So, yeah, nice brolly for me getting in and out to work. And the fact that that jacket I ain't got a hood will mean that, I mean, it's only like eight minutes to walk to my work from here. But the fact that I haven't got a hood, it'll mean on a rainy day I'm going to get wet, aren't I? So, um, yeah, I like that I've got a new brolly. So I'll be able to put that with my coat, ready for leaving the house and getting on to work. Oh, then I bought this. Right, now, I've no idea what I'm going to put this in. But I just really liked it and it was only 50p, reduced from £2. It says, what does it say about it? Let's set the label off. Unscented candle. Right, Okay, it's just like, a, you know, like a tall candle. But I really liked it. But I'm going to have to find something that that'll fit into. I didn't think that through, did I? They had loads of these that were reduced to 50p. Honestly, absolutely loads. I suspect this one were reduced because most people aren't going to know what they're going to stick that one in. You know, it's just, um, that's not going to fit in a normal sort of candle stand, is it? 
I'll find some. If anybody's got an idea what I can stand that up in, will you let me know, please? Because you're always really helpful. You know. Anyway, I bought it now. I'll find some use for it. Then I bought this not one. There were only one of these left. This will reduce from £3 to 50p. So for a little light, it looks like string knotted up. Just so really cute. I'd seen these when they were new in, but I couldn't bring myself to spend £3 on them. These aren't scented either. Um, but yeah, I just really liked it. Thought it was really pretty. That's I prefer that one to like the shell one, if I'm honest about it. But um, just because purple's not really my colour. But I will burn them in any case. Even if they're not scented, I quite like to have a candle going, you know. So super happy with that one. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to send it there. This needs dusting. Oh my goodness. I'm absolutely minging. It really needs dusting. Okie dokie, moving on. Right, I bought the baby some socks. I'm going to claim the money back for him. We've got, right, okay. Now I tried to get some that were would go for a boy or a girl. They were £3 for five pairs of socks. But most parents send spare clothes in for the babies, but rarely send spare socks. So we're always, if a child has got the socks really wet or something like that, um, doing water play or whatever, we're always hunting around for pairs of socks that'll fit them. I bought these in a six to 12 months um, because even the babies that are over 12 months, they actually look like a good size. Um, so yeah, I thought they were dead sweet. I'll claim the money back for them. You know, what's that say? Stay kind. Okay, whatever. Happy with them. Jazzy ones, but I think they'll go on boys or girls, so great. I don't think a parent's going to be offended by them whether they've got a boy or a girl, you know. Okay, and I bought myself some socks as well. Now, I'd bought myself some socks at Poundland and some at um, the Asda. Couldn't stand them. Anything that makes my feet feel like when they're really nylon on it. If I'm on my feet all day, my feet just get hotter and hotter and hotter. So I've had Primark socks before, so I decided to go for Primark ones because they're cheap and I know they're all right. I've worn them loads, so um, yeah, they don't make me feel, my feet feel so hot um, as those other ones. Yeah, it would have wasted money me trying to buy them at other places. And I'm just going to stick to Primark or my favourite ones, which come from Next, which I'm wearing a pair of them today, actually. But anyway, yeah, I bought the ones that were mostly black. They did have ones that had, like, bright colours on the heels and around the bottom bits here. But I just wanted ones that were quite, um, sort of toned down for work. So, got those. Should have bought myself two sets of those, in all honesty. Um, because five pairs ain't gonna last me, you know, it really isn't. I'm probably wear a pair of socks most days, certainly at work. And most days when I'm at home, I've either got like chunky boots on or something like that. So need a pair of socks as well. But anyway, I bought one pack, it'll have to do, won't it? Right, yo, so this is my other jacket that I bought. It's in a size 16, this will reduce to a fiver as well. Um, so it's got this pattern on the inside. And these cuffs you can roll down. I don't think I'd have them rolled up like that, you know. Maybe. I think I'd probably just roll them down. Yeah, so it's like a quilted jacket. More cottony than the other ones. It's got this other pattern on the inside. Pop studs going down the front. And then sleeves that you can roll up so it's got this pattern. Or leave them down. Okay, like that. Which is probably how I would wear it. So... Um, I'm hoping that looks all right as well. You know, I like to have a few jackets. It's got a pocket, though. Or oh, drat and botheration. There's no pockets, is there? No, there's no pockets on this one. Well, that's a bit of a, a, a disappointment. But anyway, it is what it is. It's another jacket. Keep me warm. And it's not so um, nylon-y, so I think it'll probably go well into the spring. So, yeah, so those are all my things that I got at Primark. Honestly, you, if you like Primark and you're after sale, I'd have a look in because they've got some stuff, certainly in Bradford, the stuff was slashed. Honestly, the prices were really low. I didn't have to do much hunting around to be able to get all these things. So I think I only spent something like 32 quid on all of that. 
so i think that's a bargain so what i'm gonna do is go away and try them on and then i'll come back to you and i'll insert the try on now okay this is my pajama top just got a pair of leggings on as per usual um yeah it fits fine you know what can i say it's a pajama top it's not very seasonal for this time but you know who cares who's gonna see it me and you guys now all right i'm not gonna be going out into the world in it i'm just gonna be getting into my bed so yeah i'll show you the back there we go pajama top okay so I'll keep this on while I try on some of these jackets. All right, we'll start with a blue one. Although this might be very clashy, you know, with this red top underneath. Okie dokes, let's try this one on. Actually, it's really nice, I like it. This is gonna be great for work, absolutely great. You know, it's a bit plastic bag-like, but um, you know, aside from that, I think it'll be all right. I better get my uniform underneath it, including my fleece. So yeah, I like it. I don't mind it at all for a fiver. I mean, I wouldn't have paid 20 quid for it or something like that, but for five pounds, it's okay. Yeah, it's got pockets though. I like that. I like that aspect of it very much. So this is gonna be my new work jacket. I can get rid of my manky old one that, oh, the fur around the hood of my old one has fallen off, right? So it's now just got buttons that pull my hair out periodically around the hood. So um, I think I'm gonna replace it with this one and just chuck it out because it is, I've had it for years and it really is past it. So yeah, this is gonna be my new work jacket. Yeah, I find it on my peg and it'll be right, you know. All right, there's the back. It's okay. It matches, look, hang on. Work uniform, jacket, right, okay, great. I've got tons of um, my work tops, so that's okay. Yeah, it'll matchy matchy. I'll look like I've even got a work jacket, so fabulous. So this is a keeper, it'll be all right, this. And it'll go into the spring, it's not so warm that I'm not gonna be able to wear it in the spring. So great, the only thing it's missing is a hood but since I've now got my new brolly, I'm not bothered about it. So this is my work jacket. Okay, let's try on the other one and see whether they're all right for home. Okay, this one for a fiver with the zip. I got myself all tucked up. Oh, I like this one even more. This is nice, I like it. This is all right. Yeah, honestly, I really, really like this. For a fiver, fabulous. It's great. Okay, the other one's a lot bigger than this one, but since I want to wear the other one over like a fleece and stuff that I wear at work, then this one will be the one I'm wearing at home. I'm actually really happy with it, you know. I, pr I prefer it this way around, that this one's sm uh, smaller, more fitted for home and a bigger one for work, you know. I'll show you the back. I like it, covers my bum as well. Excellent. Okay, very happy with this. Nice. You know, it's not the most exciting jacket, but I'll be able to blend in, that's what I like, right? I don't like to stand out particularly. I'm quite happy to blend into the crowd, me. Okay, I don't want people looking at me. They'd be looking at me if I wore this out, but you know, the jacket, no, it's fine. Quite like where the zip finishes, could put a scarf on with it. Fab, like it, I'm keeping this, defo. Right, let's try the other one on that's got the other fabric on the inside, because that's in a different size as well. This one's in a 16, whereas both of those are mediums. Right, I haven't folded down the other sleeve. What do we think of this? Do we think, do we like the sleeve up or the sleeve down? There's the question. Yeah, this is all right. I'm not mad about it, you know, it's okay. Yeah, it'll do. Why ain't it got pockets though? It should have pockets. And that's the only thing, you know, but I'm okay. It reminds me of a jacket my grandmother used to have back in the day, to be honest, in the 80s. 
my grandmother had like a quilty sort of jacket um you know with a different color inside it wasn't black it was like a pattern but um it does slightly remind me of that i don't know whether we're liking the sleeve up or down though or whether this looks all right at all um i like the length of it definitely yeah i do like the length of it i think for a fiver i'm going to keep it irrespective i'm going to keep it because i just think for a fiver you can't knock it can you really Watch everybody leave really like <laughs> negative comments about it, saying I look terrible. But anyway, yeah, I like it. It's all right. Fibers were, it'll do me, you know. So those are all my things from Primark. Watch some bargains I got. What bargains they are, honestly. Yeah, not sure about the sleeve up and down malarkey. Um, I think it's throwing me off the fact that I can see Rudolph sticking out below. But anyway, right, those are all my things. I'll hand you back. Oh, I'm really happy with my stuff, you know. I genuinely am. I think my least favourite is probably the third jacket that I tried on. You know, the one with the um, pattern on the inside. I'm not sure about that one. But I think for a fiver, great. You know, I'm keeping it irrespective because I just think at some point I'll be going somewhere and think, oh, my jacket's in wash. Oh, I've still got that one, right? I'll put that on, right? And that will make me happy. Maybe I'll wear it for work also. What was that noise? Oh, my neighbour's coming back. I'm slightly worried, right? I heard a screech and thought, what on earth is that? It's my neighbour, Robert, coming back. Okay, with his kids. All right, so, um, yeah, so I think I'll keep it on that basis alone. Uh, um, at some point, I will need it. You know, I'll, I'll just, uh, something else of being wash and I'll wear it. So, great. I'm happy with all three of them. But let me know what you think, won't you, please? And my pyjama tops, fab. I mean, honestly, for £3, I ain't knocking that either. Um, so, all in all, I got some right bargains at Primark. I'm very, very pleased that I called in and that I had a little hunt around for clothes as well. Because I very nearly didn't after I'd got all the stuff, that, you know, from homewares. Um, but I'm glad that I did have a look, you know. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!